X-ray, one of humanity's greatest achievements, used in medicine, astronomy, crystallography, etc. So if you're getting this, I'm about to have the most stupidest idea ever. I'm going to make an X-ray tube. As ridiculous as it may sound, I'm going to be making one for myself because I've been, well, been fascinated with this kind of radiation since I can make from radio waves to UV light and all that's using a high voltage. But I've always wondered, I want to reach the limit, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to be trying to make an X-ray, which is a new type for me, and not a lot of people can do it. So I will. But mind you, this attempt, uh, well, is definitely dangerous and you should really be careful what you're doing and you gotta do, you gotta put in a lot of research and, well, generally be careful because this is radioactive. Even if it's successful. I. Right. what is an X-ray? X-ray is a high energy radiation, electromagnetic radiation. But anyway, this X-ray is mainly found in very few places. For example, our sun. The stars that generate enough atomic or nuclear plants can also create this kind of X-ray. And lastly, is in hospitals. One of its one of X-ray's properties is well, it can penetrate literally anything. It can penetrate through human skin, metal, any type of material. All right, enough about X-rays. Now, how can I produce an X-ray? I already told you that I must make something called an X-ray tube. An X-ray tube is a simple vacuum tube, which contains an anode and a cathode. One that, releases, one that releases electrons and one that receives electrons. Now, this X-ray is generated. A high-speed electron will collide at something. The electron loses its energy and it becomes slow. But that energy must go through somewhere. See, according to the internet, there are two types of, well, uh, X-ray tubes. The one, we call it a hot cathode tube. And the other one is the cold. The hot one uses a filament. That hot filament will create a free electrons and that electrons will be accelerated using a high voltage. And then those electrons will collide with the anode. And that anode will generate an X-ray. But what I'm gonna do is the second one since the hot filament one is very difficult to do. You know, it heats up and you know, there's a lot of issues. But the easiest one and the oldest one is the cold cathode ray tube. That is simple. You find a vacuum, you make a vacuum, almost a vacuum, almost, very almost, and then you put two electrodes on two sides. And congratulations, you made an X-ray tube. For example, we're gonna still you're gonna use this, a cylinder, a syringe plastic cylinder. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna <clears throat> for example, we're gonna insert some electrode here, and then we're gonna, well, quote unquote suck it or plunge it down. Now, when that happens, there's almost, almost, now there's almost no air inside. It's just empty space. That's vacuum. That's what we need. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a hot copper wire and then I'll insert it until it pierces the piston. And then when that happens, I'm gonna clip it and then I'm gonna separate it. Now, there's some kind of... Okay, just let me show you. Okay, if you can see it right there, I've... <clears throat> First, I inserted a hot copper wire inside and I wanted it to pierce the piston. And then, after aligning it perfectly, well, there's some epoxy in the cylinder, but... I don't think we have to worry about it right now. And then I made epoxy at the holes so it doesn't leak. And now I think it's perfect. I think it can make a good amount of vacuum. Yeah, if I let it go, it will just go in. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. This wire, the wire that I've inserted here, is an anode. And I'm going to make a cathode here and we can successfully make a quote unquote vacuum chamber. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What I did here is attach a nail, a big nail and, <clears throat> and I sucked it and I, well, made a stopper here. 
so it will stay like this regardless of the well regardless of the vacuum pressure now mind you that this thing look well really good to be honest but i'm not guaranteeing any well results i'm gonna be honest with you this is some kind of an, a trial and error thingy now the problem is when the initial the top the place that the, the piston was here there was some very minute air well that's a mistake because there must be no air it must be very little amount but that amount is very microscopic so we need to assume that it is completely sealed and completely no air but the problem is i can't remove the air because there's some kind of gap inside yeah it kind of sucks yeah it kind of sucks but it might produce an x-ray according to my yeah well well brainstorming it might create an x-ray but i'm not sure it's like 50 50. to be honest 50 50 is more than the average person can do almost nobody can make an x-ray but in my case i can make 50 percent chance it might make some kind of a very 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 very, very small amount of x-rays and also i got one more problem the most essential one how do i know if i even if i'm making an x-ray i need a detector of some kind that is when i got into trouble you see to detect an x-ray i at least i need one of the three materials an x-ray photography well the thing that they scan bones back in the day yeah that's the problem it was back in the day now it's all digital and i don't have a digital x-ray detector you know i don't work in radiology dudes come on yeah it i don't have a detective stuff and the second one is using a geiger counter you know the this thing yeah the geiger counter i don't have it but maybe in, in the future maybe i'm gonna make my own geiger counter maybe maybe just maybe and also the third one i need some kind of a material that is called i call it fluorescence i need a fluorescent material like a urine or or some kind of paper or some but the problem is x-ray is so energetic and it might not even work on fluorescent materials so the, i told you this is like 50 50 chance Ugh, this is the closest i think this is the closest that i can ever get in creating x-rays so well this thing is for you guys and i've attempted it and if you guys can make it more than me please tell me in the comments but also be careful x-ray is dangerous okay guys i've made the room a bit darker so you can guys see what's happening right here and it's kind of scary holding this thing because <laughs> as i told you there's 50 50 percent chance that this shit is producing uh, x-rays that is creating cancer cell right now so yeah this is for you guys now watch what the do you see that it's some kind of plasma whoa that, that is cool it's some kind of light purple and also it might be producing x ray so you got this right Ooh, it's kind of getting warm okay the entire cylinder is getting warm that's not good I don't have to, you know, do this over and over again because the thing will melt. Okay, it's kind of a vacuum chamber, you know? As I told you guys, there's some kind of residual air inside. And there's some kind of residual air inside, so yeah, that is a problem. I, I told you guys, that it may not work properly because this is a DIY of a DIY, if you know what I'm saying. But it kind of looks cool. Yeah, that, that the thing inside, it's air getting ionized. And it's creating, for example, it's creating about UV, UV, IR, visible light, which is violet color. Uh, even if it might be creating x-rays, but there's no telling. That's kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool. And to be honest, 
And also, to be honest, the device is kind of, the cylinder is kind of vibrating. I think it's because of the frequency or something. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, it's kind of a plasma inside. That's kind of cool. Well guys, it turns out that I, instead of making an x-ray, I made an elaborated quote-unquote version of my vacuum chamber of, well, previously from my video. Previously from my video, so yeah, this shit is garbage, I think. But at least I tried to make an x-ray closely enough, even if I've kind of failed. Well, I kind of not call it a failure because 50 50 50 percent of chance and as as i the, i have no telling anyway yeah well uh this is what a homemade very very cheap probably in terms of less than a dollar maybe i don't know a an x-ray or a vacuum tube whatever you call it and well tell me your comments on down below okay and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.